Welcome, this is episode 26. You're learning to use Max and you're watching 5 Minute Max where you give 5 minutes every day to learn something new, something exciting. Alright, on previous episode we have successfully completed the standard primitives. Today we'll be moving on, yes you're right, we are moving on to extended primitives. Okay, under the common panel, the first tab is create. Under create tab, there's the first sub tab is or sub group is geometry. From the drop down menu, there's there are like uh, even more uh, groups under this group. So under so these are the subgroups. Uh, let's select this group called standard primitives, extended primitives. Sorry, and uh, let's click on the first one on the menu, which is hedra. So let's click that, uh, and it will highlight the button, so we can create that. Right off the bat, we can see it has a few different parameters, which are not exactly like the standard primitives. It is a little bit different, it's extended primitives, so it has like a little bit more control in like a plain, regular explanation. It will give you more, uh, you know, nuts and whistles and bells so you can just like uh, go crazy with them you know so let's create one hedra um, instead of creating on the perspective view i'll be creating them on the front viewport and i'll be creating more than one i'll create three okay so that's the first one second one and the third one okay all created now uh let's get rid of this crosshair um, uh, creation like cursor otherwise it will constantly create new and new uh, let's click on select object or you can just alternatively click on uh, right click uh, on your mouse so the header one uh, the name is right there header one let's uh, go on the modify panel and see what are the parameters it has so uh, parameters has sub parameters which means it has much more controls uh, the first one is family sub parameter of this header it is uh, set uh, these are the radio buttons so you can like change the buttons to uh, make it a different type of like uh, a different family different type you can also like uh, define them as it has a different dimension so let's create the first one as let, let, let's leave the first one as tetra let's select the second one and make it a cube cube or octa let's select the third one and we're always on the modify panel if you like by default select the previous one or next one it will remain in this tab so max remembers these uh, settings let's create this uh, dodec or icos these are all uh, polygonal groups so in geometry there's like a broader explanation you can just like research them why they're called hedra but uh, they can be useful in many different ways in Max or any 3D program um, if you if you really like pay clean, clean attention or like careful attention or if you pay attention. All right, let's uh, change the second sub parameter, which are the family parameters. It has P and Q instead of X and Y. It has two different parameters. It's like P and Q. Let's change them. You can see the difference right there you can see in all viewports the different setups let's change this one for the cube it just like becomes like this and something like that it's like a little chamfered cube uh, for the third one it's like a little bit complex already you can also change the PNQ you can like make it like a some sort of golf ball or I don't know it, it could be like a very fancy looking you know like a grenade for the fu from the future but uh, honestly if you like uh, if you want to pursue your career in 3d as a, a modeler you will always be needing using these geometrical shapes now beside these two we can also create few more headdress from here on those uh, uh, extended primitives let's create one here one there let's uh, select the first one and make it a star and a fifth one a star and this is star two so you can like change the parameters you can play with them you can make them different types and uh, you are going to end up with interesting shapes so this is basically hedra and uh, their settings so next day we'll be learning in five minutes something else in the extended primitives so until then have a good one and see you next time